Okay, to start, pick up your one millimeter wire and a marker. Then wrap this wire all around this cylindrical shape. This is the first loop that is going to be the petals of our flower. Then I would rip it, wrap in this wire for second loop, the third one, the fourth one, and I continue doing that five times and another loop so that if needed I would use it. Okay. Then in front of this starting point I would cut the wire out just like this and now I would pull this helix shape to make a gap and separation between every loop I have just made starting point and ending point there should be a total circle okay now I need to put every circle just onto each other by pushing them and pressing them up just you could push them a little horizontally so that you would have something like this with your thumb again push it you should be careful not to do any additional pressure so that every loop lose its shape okay now this is the time to rotate these wires from the center point around the center point try to separate them little by little avoid intense pressure just do that slowly and very gentle and very gentle when you get to this shape this five petal flower you need to close it up and to make a nest alike shape with your thinner wire we would do that with 0.4 or 0.5 wire just we need to do some wire wrapping here insert your thinner wire in fasten it up you could use your round nose pliers to make it better then throw this wire again between every loop and every petal and continue doing this between every one of them just diagonally to achieve something like a wire ball if you do that on a pattern 
that would be more pretty. Let me explain and show you how. For example, you do your first diagonal wrapping on the right, then do that on the left, you throw back. Do that on this pedal, I mean the second one on the left, and then you do that for the third one on the left. Then again for the second one on the right and do that just like it's scheduled and it pursues a pattern and a regulation so that it would be more beautiful and more professional of course. When you're done wrapping this wire all around the central part uh, the central part and you achieve a, a wire ball here just keep it tight and throw it back and insert it in the middle of this wire ball and fasten it up just like this Now, just little details. As you could see, we have two double wire here and here, and we should cut them up just somewhere next to this wire bowl that we had just fixed those five petals. This is almost finished. Now we need to make the earring clasp and we do that with our round nose pliers. Just make a little loop here. Then another one in the other direction. like a question mark shape and a bend like this and then cut it out. Then open it up just like the way that you open a jump ring and then close it. And this is your five petal flower wire earring. This is so beautiful and I hope you make one and enjoy it so much. Take care and bye-bye.